My name is Ijeom Chebu and I'm a Professor of Pharmaceutical Nanoscience at the UCL School of Pharmacy. I'm also Pro Vice Provost for Africa and the Middle East and I'm based in Brunswick Square, just uh, close to Russell Square Tube Station. What we're trying to do in our lab is to try and develop drugs with reduced side effects. Ultimately, we feel that if drugs have reduced side effects, patients are more likely to take them. And if they're more likely to take them, they're more likely to derive benefit from them. And how do we go about um, tackling this question? Well, what we try and do is to try and get as much of the drug as possible to the area of pathology and as little of the drug as possible to healthy tissues and healthy areas. This topic is important to society because every single one of us will have to take medicines at some point. And if you have taken medicines and had to deal with side effects, you know how uncomfortable that could be. So being uncomfortable, of course, is manageable. But if the side effects mean that you have to stop taking your medicine, then you actually do risk treatment failure. So it's very important that we have medicines that are efficacious and do not cause adverse events or side effects, especially those that will stop the patients from taking them. So one of the areas that we're quite proud of is that we've been able to show that we can deliver peptides to the brain. And we're working on a pain therapeutic which is based on a peptide that is secreted in the brain. And what we've done is we've taken this peptide and we've made it into a medicine and we've shown in preclinical studies, so basically studies involving non-humans, that the medicine actually works in these preclinical studies. And we've used different kinds of pain models to exhaustively test this hypothesis and found it to be proven. And so that's one of the areas that we're very, very proud of. I teach at UCL, I teach pharmacy students. And what I do is I teach a module which is all about developing certain kinds of medicines. And these medicines that we're focused on are medicines which are either derived from biological origin. These are um, compounds that are available in our bodies which we've then used to make drugs. Or they're compounds derived from compounds that are available in our bodies. So normally they're proteins, peptides, genes and little bits of nucleic acid, for example. I think if you're interested in research, first of all, you must be uh, very, very committed. It is a career of long hours. It is a career of um, very interesting highs and very deep and dark lows. So you must be prepared to ride this wave and you must be prepared to ride this wave with your enthusiasm undimmed. So what I'd say practically, if you want a career in research, the first thing you have to do is choose a research topic that you're absolutely passionate about, that you will continue to think about even when you leave the laboratory or leave your office. And once you've chosen this topic, after your degree, you should attempt to do a postgraduate degree, such as a PhD, for example, because what a PhD teaches you is how to independently research a topic and to cope with the fact that most of the things you try may not work, but some of the ones that you try will work and when they work really well, you'll feel incredible. So I would recommend it to you if you're looking for an exciting career in which you are never bored. It's very easy to say why UCL is a good place. UCL is a top 20 global university, so that is a huge plus. You're working in a place where you're surrounded by one of the, some of the brightest people on the planet. And so you can always ask people if you're stuck. And those people will more likely have an answer to um, your question. As well as being a top 20 global university, which is research intensive and part of the Russell Group, UCL is also a very welcoming place. UCL is committed to equality, diversity and inclusion and that is evidenced by the two kite marks that it has as an institution. It has the uh, kite mark for gender equality which is the Athena Swan 
and another kite mark for race equality, which is the race equality charter mark. Now, both of these kite marks don't mean that UCL has solved the problem of equality, diversity, and inclusion, but it does mean that we are on the right path. So you come to UCL for the brilliance of the academics and the students, but you come to UCL because you will only be judged on your academic output. There's not much that's unusual about me, but for those of you that are women and thinking of taking up a career in research, I'd let you know that I have four daughters, and when I was doing my PhD, I had three daughters, and did my PhD while the mother of three daughters. I still did it in the um, record, the time that we we're supposed to do it. So finished the lab work in three years and submitted my thesis within four years. So. That may be unusual because a lot of people think that if you're really dedicated and committed to your career, somehow you might have to give up other things, but actually you don't. I also have lots of hobbies. So I like running, and I like to just say that I ran the London Marathon this year. <laughs>